Well, Lorna Shadick joins us now with the latest on this from New York. Lorna, tell us more then about this humanitarian aspect of the UN resolution, which the rebels say has to be fulfilled before any peace talks can continue. That's right. Uh, as you say, 34 groups in total, including the Free Syri Syrian Army and also the powerful Army of Islam, uh, have issued this joint statement. And it, it has to do with Articles 12 and 13 of UN Resolution 2254, which was agreed on uh, right at the end of last year and uh, effectively is a sort of roadmap or blueprint towards a peace process in Syria. Now, that resolution calls on all sides in the civil war to allow humanitarian access to all in need of it, especially in besieged areas and to cease attacks on civilians. So that is uh, the part of the resolution that, uh, that these rebels or, or these opposition groups uh, are saying must be fulfilled. They say uh, that implementing those articles uh, is self-evident and a human right and they will not accept any compromise on it. Uh, now, they've also called on the Opposition Council, which has been uh, set up to oversee these negotiations, uh, to refuse to enter into any political solution imposed, uh, as they put it, by massacres. So, uh, again, eff effectively, the Syrian uh, opposition groups here seeking to remove uh, the issue of humanitarian access and, and humanitarian aid as an issue uh, or as a potential, potential bargaining chip uh, before any talks can get going. Uh, but, of course, this does also come after uh, those particular particularly terrible pictures that we saw from uh, the western city of Madaya in Syria, where uh, around 40,000 people had been without uh, food or medical help for around three months before an aid convoy finally reached them uh, at the beginning of this week. And uh, that has drawn the world's attention to the use of uh, sieges in uh, the Syrian civil war and the humanitarian consequences that that is having. Okay, Lorna, thank you very much. Lorna Shaddock in New York.